Hi guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to Vienna Car Show at the BMW stand where we have a chance to see BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Now the first ever compact limousine from BMW, it is based on the same platform as the 1 Series, it will be a direct opponent to cars such as Mercedes CLA and Audi A3 limousine. So as I said, based on the same platform as 1 Series, which means you do have the front wheel drive as standard but also optional all-wheel drive such as this one which is the M235i the strongest version available right now and probably in the future also let's start with the exterior design on the front you do have a similar look as the one series as you can see very 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 similar lights they do come in LED technology as standard which is always nice to hear when you are buying a premium car and you also have the massive kidneys, sort of like a trademark of all new BMW models. Of course, this being the M235, as I said, this one has the larger air index and much more aggressive front bumper. So you won't have this aggressive look on maybe other, you know, two series Grand Coupes, but definitely uh, designers were inspired by the eight series Grand Coupe. So a lot of people already calling this the baby eight series Grand Coupe. Now this particular model sits on this very nice dual tone wheels. They are, I believe, let's see, 19 inch wheels. So you have the combination of black and silver with the M Performance brakes. Now let me show you this coupe line of the car. So on the front, as I said, a lot of similarities with the one series. However, when we come at the back, this is where all the changes are. I mean where everything is new actually. So you have the coupe style of the roof. You have this new white and slim taillights. They're almost connecting here. They're actually connected with this black, gloss black part. And you have this in gloss black when you go for the black pack. And when you have the regular one, then you have this in chrome. Also, just like this element in here. So I think in person looks much better than on the photos. When I saw the first photos, I wasn't impressed. But now seeing it in person definitely changed my mind. It's much, much better, much more aggressive and much, you know, better proportions. On the photos, it doesn't look, you know, that good. So believe me when I say that, you know, this is better when you see it in real life. So definitely go to the dealership or, you know, somewhere where you can see it when you, you know, want to make a decision about this car and about your opinion on it. You have this well-known L shape of the taillights, just like on the rest of the BMW model. So you see the one series is also this sort of like a L illumination at the back. Now LEDs like LED lights are standard. Let's focus. So LED lights are standard on this car at the back also. And on in the world of fake exhausts, it's so nice to see a real exhaust here. Dual exhaust, 90 millimeters. And, you know, here you also have this striking diffuser, looks cool also. And there's the exhaust, so gloss black diffuser, just like this part here. M235i badge, you have this fixed spoiler, look at this. Also in gloss black, tinted windows. Overall, very nice looking car. So speaking of the dimensions, this car is 4.56 meters long. It is 1.8 meters wide and 1 meter 42 is the height of this model. Just so you know, you get the point of you know what I'm talking about. But it's not all about the design with this car because we have really decent amount of space. Here we have a 430 liters of storage space and it's also a square shape. So a lot of things can be put here. But look at this, you also have the second row over there. Let's call it like that for some extra storage space. Also here you have some a net to put some of the things, for example, some small shopping bags or something like that. So definitely a plus for that. Let's close this. Tell me guys, what do you think about the design? Do you like it? And would you take this or Mercedes CLA? Okay, so let's check out the interior of this lovely car. Now let's start with the door seal where you're greeted with the M235i badge. Now the seats, one of my favorite seats on the market right now, definitely. 
These are the M Sport, so the best option that you can get. There are actually three types of seats available for this car. So you have the basic one, the middle one, like a sport seat, and then this M seats. Definitely something that I would go for if I were to buy this car. Interior is very modern as expected from BMW. You have the same layout as on the one series, which means you do have digital cockpit in front of the driver with this new layout of BMW models. Uh, then you also have this main screen, which can be controlled with touch. Very responsive, one of the res most responsive touch screens that I've ever, you know, seen actually. Then you also have, as you know, as we know, the latest iDrive infotainment system from BMW, which is something that you really can't complain about. It's definitely one of the best systems in the world and I love the fact that you can control everything with either this button here so rotary push button or you can control it with touch as you saw you know a few moments ago let's go to navigation uh, you know you can choose and type some of the city or somewhere where you want to go let's see what else do we get here media of course music can pair your phone, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything is available. Communication, let's go back. So I'm controlling everything with the rotary push button, but you can also control everything with the touch if you like. Of course, this is the standard on BMW models. You can check uh, the fuel, you can check whether your cars need service, whether you know your tires are good, tire pressure and everything. So definitely intuitive infotainment system, a big plus for BMW, you know, for doing that good job in terms of the technology and the interior and infotainment system itself. Now this car has, of course, the automatic gearbox. Let's go through some of the buttons here. So you have the traction control off, start stop button off, different driving modes available here so sport and you can see here then in the comfort eco pro and you also have the individual where you control everything uh, you know here is where you configure so the steering the engine gearbox everything can be controlled here and uh, basically you adjust how you want the car to be you know and what do you want from the car in every minute of your drive now this is the m sport steering wheel it's you know very good in hand nice flappy pedals for changing the gears you do have this uh, well-known bmw digital dashboard which we first saw i think on the three series two years almost ago in paris air vent i love the design of this air vent here also you have the switches for your lights Rev counter goes uh, on the opposite uh, way. This is where your speedometer is. Fuel gauge is a bit small. But yeah, what else we have? We have the electronic parking brake. The home button is here, so it's very easy to go back to the home button. Let's put the navigation here. And well, yeah, let's see the glove box. Decent amount of space. This can be adjusted here. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, nice little storage space. USB-C, I believe, yeah, USB-C port. Not a huge fan of those. You need adapter if you have an iPhone. But here we have a regular USB port. Now let's see, also here is the wireless charger. Your phone can nicely fit here. And it's, of course, charging right now. I must say, you know, thank you to BMW for keeping the AC controls here where they should be on the buttons. So that's something that a lot of manufacturers aren't doing these days. So definitely a big thumb up for BMW. And uh, well, it would be great if other manufacturers do also this. So what do you think about this? Are you a fan of the, you know, touch screens or you prefer to have the AC on your, you know, on the buttons? volume button you have here and well yeah also this steering wheel is heated so when you press this the heating is on definitely good for driving up to the work on some 
winter days can be useful. So now that I've shown you this, I think a lot of you will want to know how much space there is at the back of this car. So I'm 1 meter 87. I'm gonna adjust the seat for myself and then we'll see if I have place, you know, and space for my head and also for my legs at the back. We'll see. All right, let's see the situation. It will be a bit tricky, I think. Well, actually for my legs, not so much. Not an issue. Now let's see for my head. It's a bit dark, but yeah, it's not great actually. So I don't have that much room for my head, but for my legs, it's okay, really. But headroom, well, naturally, because this is the coupe style of the limousine. So definitely coupe style of the roof. Also, this car has the optional sunroof. So basically, if you maybe don't go for the sunroof, maybe you would get more space here. So you should consider that if you are buying this car and you want to, you know, have passengers at the rear. But otherwise, it is okay. I mean, I could, you know, survive a smaller road trip here without any problems. We saw the car from the outside. Now let's see some of the figures. As I said, 306 horsepower, two liter engine. It is Let's see the weight of the car, 1,570 kilos. And uh, let's see this. So this is not the price for this car. This is the price for the base model, 218i. Basically, it means the petrol engine, 1.5 liter with 140 horsepower. This is how, you, how much you will pay for that one. But this one is the top train model. So obviously not available, uh, price is not available here but should be much more expensive than this one. So tell me in the comments, what do you guys think about this car? As I said, would you take this or CLA or maybe A3 limousine? Tell me in the comments. Now let me have a quick walk around the car before we end this video. So suspension wise, you have the regular suspension, the sport suspension, which lowers the car by 10 uh, millimeters. And you also have the adaptive dumpers as the top trim you know, option. So yeah. Uh, speaking of the engines, as I said, this is the top trim, then you have the various petrol and diesel engines available. So I think the customers will get a lot of options. That's definitely you know, something BMW is good at. They all, always offer a lot of things for their customers. And now I think it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to the channel to see more car reviews as there will be plenty you know, of them in the future. We are at the Vienna Car Show, as you can see a lot of cars around me. And yeah, well, tell me what do you think about this car and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.